<coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> you are listening to the powerful hour where we discuss the subtle nuances of the works of Shakespeare and what it means to our lives. What happened? We started? So welcome. <laughs> I am Sir Reginald Prince Higginbottom III. And if everyone would like to introduce themselves as well, please. <clears throat> I'm Sir Zippix. Yes. <laughs> Zippix. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. We did both. Well, okay, you guys. Well. I don't have to do <laughs> okay. But we, this is kind of um, a very special episode of, of the Power Hour. Um, I am, of course, Prince, and uh, I have several other people here with me. It's, uh, uh, I don't know, Bukaki? No, that's bad. Don't. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, bang Bus. Uh, wait. Um, Get <laughs> oh. so Big Taxi. Uh, fuck. Um, so who is that speaking right there? Because uh, you know, this is my f first time hearing everyone's voice, so we've got to introduce ourselves. So I'm Zepix. Zepix. I am the Raptor Jesus. Raptor Jesus, none other than. Uh, I go by the Holiest Roger. We have the Holiest Roger. He hey, woke up in time, here. and uh, obviously Poopster. A lot of holy Poopster. people tonight. And Coopster, yes. See, so this is Oops, just a regular... <laughs> I mean, we could be playing Call of Duty right now or something. And <laughs> Who says we aren't? <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, so, you know, we've got quite a few things to talk about. Um, well, I, I, I know uh, we've got a fit many opinions within an hour time frame, so we're going to try and do that. Um, anyways, so to begin things, what is going on with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general? It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> a That's so a things, fair assessment. Things fluctuate, and I think everybody is just a bunch of pansies and needs to hodl. Yeah, I think you, I think there's something to be said for that, my friend. I mean, we've seen this happen many times so far, so I guess it's uh, none. No one should be surprised. I guess it, it was at like nineteen thousand something. Like, why is anybody surprised it's going down more? I don't know. You should look at the yearly charts, <coughs> like. I don't know. And really the halvings, I think, are, are a big part of it. But I like this is Bitcoin and everybody... Oh, that's a big spider. Show. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. We always have um, uh, Bitcoin Cash. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, what are you saying? At least... Just like the world. Yeah. <laughs> We, we, yeah, we have Raj. Yes, if anything else, Raj and Mr. Wright will both save us from our miserable toil <laughs> of existence. Ah! That's what they want to do, right? I mean, th that must be. I mean, it's all so clear. It seems clear to me now. <laughs> Good Samaritans, both of them. Yeah, so... What else is going on in everyone's lives today? I'm saving a spider's life. A drama. You saved a spider's life. It's 4 a.m., so I'm pretty tired. Oh, me too. No, I'm not really tired. I, but, I mean, I worked all day and 
you know. Spider's life saved. That's good, bro. I would have killed it. Bro. I didn't want to get it all over my wall. Oh, so... Priorities. You know, I found this article um, in, uh, uh, of all things, Business Insider. <coughs> and apparently this is a... I mean... Isn't that like Russian spyware or something? Business Insider? Probably. I don't know. Just, I thought it was a magazine. Everything is. It's sure, it's all it. So, check like out this article. news websites that pretends to be a real one, or whatever. It is? I didn't even know that. Uh, this, this is, this is a good actually, title, though. I think it's real. I think it's it real. Is. I don't think it's satire. But yeah, anyways, it's pretty real. It is. If a nuclear bomb story. is dropped in your city, here's what you should and shouldn't do to stay alive. So, the Business Insider is giving us tips on how to survive the <laughs> nuclear apocalypse. Duck and cover. Uh, so let me get this straight. A business magazine is giving us survival tips <laughs> <laughs> yes. for uh, nuclear fallout. Yeah, we're in the plutocracy. It's enveloping us. <clears throat> oh, Romeo and Juliet, by the way. Oh yeah, I forgot oh. about that. Um, <laughs> we didn't actually discuss um, Shakespeare. Don't waste your love on somebody who doesn't value it. This above all. To thine own self be true. I'm not. I'm not seeing I, any of these lines in here. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> then she hath sworn that she will still oh. live chast, chaste. Excuse me. <laughs> Can't say it right. Then she hath sworn that she will oh, still live chaste. Oh boy! <laughs> this is such a train wreck. <laughs> hey, we haven't started shouting over each other yet. Give it time. <laughs> well, all right. There's some cool stuff that I want to talk about. I think. I mean, hey, Chris, is there is there anybody listening? <laughs> Probably not. Well, it doesn't matter. We hope so. <laughs> I mean, I'm listening, and that means a lot. I'm not. Oh come on. Be nice. Anyways, so, um, I, what about warp drive? Alcubierre drive. That sounds yeah, dangerous. Bro. It's, so, it's, it's, it's not anywhere, it's not, it's not going to happen anytime soon. I, I, I researched run. all of the cool sci-fi fucking concepts and found out that you can't do any of them. Yeah, they're definitely highly theoretical at this point. Yeah. But, you know, things change every day. Who knows? Well, apparently the Business Insider is part of the Wall Street <laughs> Journal. <laughs> Yo. Is it for them? <laughs> apparently, that's what they're saying at IRC. <laughs> you can't trust IRC. Isn't that crazy, though? You can trust IRC. You just can't trust Discord. Oh. I trust Shakespeare. The Discord is either the U.S. government or the Russian government spying on you. It's probably yeah. both. It's all good. So. So what about the Area Fifty One raid? Uh, call you off. Think, you think it's gonna ac actually be a raid? I don't know. There was 75 man. people that showed up at the gate, and <laughs> only two people got arrested, and they were actually European. Huh. I think they were Dutch, if I remember right. Mm. Nice. Yeah. We could have gone. Yeah, why didn't we go, Prince? Come on. Wait, what What did you say? Who? Where? Yeah. We're why blaming you. you. what I do? It's not my fault. You, you didn't take us. Well, Area 51. <clears throat> what can I say? <laughs> I already know the truth, man. I believe Bob Lazar. You know my stance. <laughs> yeah. That's all I gotta say, Bob bro. The man. Bob Lazar's coming over. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know who that is. You don't know who yeah. Bob Lazar is, man. You don't know who Bob Lazar is? No. Oh. He's the dude with the, the 80s glasses. Well, in the interviews. 
Well, that's Later. one way to characterize him. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea who this guy is. He's in the pyrotechnic, so that's cool. Well, he claims he to is. have worked at Area 51. Yep. Mm. And I do, too, apparently. Well, don't we all? We just, you know, we can't publicly admit it. I think he lived it. by me, actually, for real. Bob Bazaar? Yo, I live next door to Bob Bazaar. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so not like Laser. an achievement? <laughs> Smart man, man. Life goals. So, I think it's next to like Bob Bazaar. Oh. Um. But then I looked up down Bob Lazar links and I see Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I never <laughs> <laughs> I never really got in much to Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan. <laughs> as far as I know, every uh, all the all the government workplaces look like the DMV. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I have a hard time believing that they can really keep hmm. a whole lot secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's there's recently um, I have an article somewhere that the the military, you know, basically admitted, you know, that their unexplained the, the, aerial phenomena that yeah I saw that the su supposed disclosure, but you know, like there, there there's saying something without saying it, but... Redacted. Yeah. They did not say it was aliens. Yeah. But it, it was probably aliens. <laughs> exactly. Fucking aliens, man. That's I Georgia mean, line, isn't it? Giorgio? Giorgio Armani? Wow. <laughs> that guy uh, with the hair. Oh, yeah, the crazy hair? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, George... The hair so sticks up so straight. He's like half bald. Yeah, he's interesting. He's like a Greek guy uh, with a oh, Greek afro. I think that's what it is. Don't trust uh, ancient aliens, man. Why not? It's fun, though, it's, man. It's, I mean, Why it's not? fun to watch one time around, but then you actually start to research <laughs> what they're saying. And, man, it's it's like... Don't try to feed me, like, trick history shit, man. Man, yeah, I smoked too much weed today. I've never actually watched that show. You never did? No. Yeah, you're not missing much. I mean, I guess okay. it's fun if you think of it as a science fiction novel, and there are some, you know, tidbits of of uh, of factual information. But the way they present it is is like a complete trick format, just to like make it sound more plausible than it actually is and <sighs> not specifying like, certain does details. Prince sleep with dolphins. Probably. Uh yeah. Dolphins are are, are legendary lovers. Don't you know this? Well, I think that uh <laughs> the the point that they make you uh, research it proves that it's working. <laughs> I, need I to have know no idea what you're talking all. about, sir. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it's like, we got Chicken of the Sea Tuna, four ninety nine, Ralph's. Oh, man, that's fucked up. <laughs> the Cuddle with the, uh, the processed stuff. It is. I feel like this is I feel like this is Prince Bed. It's literally Doge and a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I I sleep with um several chains and Ooh. I I can't help it, man. That. Old habits die hard. <sighs> well, you heard it here. You heard it here what's, on what's the power, the, the powerful thing? hour. So, what else? What's the, what's the channel? It's uh, Real Liberty Media. Yeah, pound yeah, pound, gotcha. Real Liberty Media, or hashtag hashtag. Oops. If if, if I you did not mean to type it into the chat room. Yes. I hear you. So, 
Uh, what else do we want to talk about as far as uh, aliens or or uh, um, <clears throat> even time uh, travel? They can hear my thoughts. All of the aliens can hear my thoughts. Well, yeah. Probably. That's, I mean... <laughs> They're in for a ride. E.T. E- phone home. Well, I mean, they, they are omnipotent. They're omnipresent. So I guess, uh, you know, it's, it's as much of a god as anybody else's. I believe in the aliens, man. So, okay, 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 okay. Flying spaghetti uh, monster. Uh, let's, let's talk about some stuff here, all right? Okay. So, um, micro-expressions are real. Okay. Right? And, uh, you can, uh, you can actually monitor this shit with cameras, webcams. You're talking about, like, uh, um, like, when the, 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 fa- the twitches and such that people make when they lie, or... Yeah, that, stuff like that. Yeah. Bloody language. Yeah, actually, uh, I... I mean, it's, it's basically, you're, like, cell phone with, like, its front-facing camera and shit, if that gets hacked, you know? That's Hook that up to a super powerful AI. <clears throat> AI that monitors scary. micro-expressions. You know, I have uh, The machines the know I'm lying. Around. No. The definitive guide to oh, reading yeah, facial mi- micro-expressions. Yeah. He's Paul, Paul Ekman group. I guess this is the guy... Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Paul Ekman. What? Paul Ekman... Well, I I I just popped um you know micro expressions into Google and found Paul Ekman. Uh, I don't I don't know who he is. <laughs> uh, everybody quickly Google's Paul Ekman. I'm googling it. <laughs> he apparently trains people. He's like a guru in facial expressions. He probably like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. He looks like a creep, man. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Not probably. He's, he's staring at people's faces all day. Hey, man. Takes all kinds to make the world go round. I, I feel like that would do some like mental damage, just staring at people's faces all day. Oh, man. If you ever worked in the service industry, you're you're right. Did? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've worked in retail. Does that count? Halfway. I worked at fucking if Disneyland. You at a hotel, man, it's like you always you always have to smile, pretend to smile. <laughs> You're not allowed yep. to point with one finger at Disneyland. <laughs> I feel like everybody knows that, though. <laughs> what? Maybe. At least I did. Apparently, Prince doesn't. I don't know. I don't need to. It's yeah. offensive to point with one finger in some cultures. Depends. Okay. I, well, I'm, you know, thumbs up is actually an ancient sign of virility. So when someone gives you nice. uh, a thumbs up, <laughs> hey. it means, hey, I'm ready to fuck. <laughs> hey. Hey. So is that why you keep giving me a thumbs up, Prince? That is exactly so, why... Thanks for reading my body language, my micro expression. Prince, <laughs> Lord of Darkness. Yeah, that's me. We just we just say that because he's not that bright. Mm-hmm. You. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh. one joke that I wrote. I just sound pretty. That's all. Okay. <laughs> pretty like a you, fish. You like that dolphin in your bed? Oh, oh the yeah. dolphin, man. You know, a dolphin is not a fucking fish in the first place, so just get that, <laughs> get it right. Not a biologist here. <laughs> well, nobody's going to go the odd silence <laughs> after the, the um, I, I yeah. Feel like I wonder if that silence was on porpoise. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've gotten way off track. <laughs> I think we have as well. So, wait, wait, wait. I have some comic relief. 
something? That's so, my job. Okay. Good headline here. Jerry Springer used talk show to score <laughs> porn stars and strippers, ex-staffers claim. <laughs> Good for him. That's my thoughts exactly. Man, Jerry Springer, he's getting all Jerry Springer's the pussy. Still relevant? Wow. Have uh, holiest? Have you ever studied or watched the the Jerry Springer show? Was that somehow? <laughs> studied Jerry Springer? <laughs> I've not <laughs> no. actually. Uh, I've seen a little bit of him, but not much. But you understand how ridiculous, and it's kind of like a um, a mirror. I know the concept. Yeah, the the mirror of, of American culture, and I guess a lot of people are like that. Do you have trailer trash wherever you're from? Uh, what, like uh, the kind of people? The kind of people that go on Jerry Springer. Yeah, yeah, they don't really live in trailers. They just kind of they live mm. in houses. <laughs> <laughs> that, they don't have to live in houses. I mean, trailers. Uh, what about parking? I guess, uh, looked after better here with uh, benefits and stuff. <laughs> Free healthcare. Yeah. I live by a trailer community. You know, one of my favorite movies uh, w- was uh, Snatch, actually. I mean, uh, oh, do I they actually that. have oh, me too. parkies? I don't know if yeah, I've seen that. Uh, parkies are real. They're, that's that's kind of our kind of trailer people. That's that's what they're like. <laughs> interesting. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. So what kind of trailer people you got around there? They're all like Brad Pitt. Very <laughs> muscular and cut. No, I'm just joking. I want to be the fat Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> so, Jerry Springer. Yeah. Oh, he's understand. married. Just... Okay, he's married, so he's cheating on his wife. It's like every 60-year-old. Come on now. Yeah, man, you know... Can we, just, can we just admit that marriage just doesn't work? It do what it do, homeboy. <laughs> Let the man do what he wants. Judge uh, Jerry. Oh, boy. I don't know. So, yeah. Before Jerry has to figure out if he's the father. Oh, wait, no, that's Murray. Maury. I get my shoes confused. Oh, Maury's... Maury. Maury. <laughs> Isn't he married to, like, Connie Chung? <laughs> Don't forget about that that chick that does the same thing. Uh, what was her name? Uh, oh God, Maud, Hillary, something Victoria. like that. Jesus, you got you. You all know what I'm talking about. No Victoria. one can remember her name, right? <laughs> I have no Victoria? idea what you're talking <laughs> <Seriously>? about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what you're talking about. I, I I know what he's talking about. I just can't think of the name. Lies. Don't lie hey, just because you're it. you're live on the radio. <laughs> you're connected. Say hello. Yeah. What was her name? Anyways, so. I <laughs> Wanda. I forgot about that. Wanda. What? <laughs> Rolanda. Oh, yeah, and Jenny McCarthy had her own show at one point. I have no clue. I'm trying to yeah, scroll she's... up here to see, but oh, why did this not transfer over? Ricky Lake. Oh, Ricky yeah, Lake. Ricky Lake, That's man. That's what I'm thinking of. There we go. Yeah, she had a show, yep. Yeah, she she's was like interesting. The... Oh, did you see the article about how a burger can help climate change? <laughs> burger? <laughs> yes. Yes, the New, Yorker, think... the New Yorker published this article on how basically this a burger, cause a single-handedly burger could help solve climate change. Huh. So... It's like, uh, or, or we just stop using coal. Here. Yeah, factory farming. You know, actually, I think I've discussed this before. Dude, farming is like so minuscule compared to coal. Let, let's find. There's it's actually just, a percentage it's of Indians trying to get their fucking fifteen minutes of fame. There's a percentage of greenhouse gases uh, released by uh, uh, cow farts 
Um, I forget yeah, what the percentage I mean, is. Cow shit. Uh, cow fart methane. Nothing. Yeah, don't fart so much, guys. <laughs> yeah, we can smell it up here, too. <laughs> Hop that. Let's that see. Exactly? I've got a here. Oh, hell yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Methane isn't just cow farts. It's also cow burps. So cow farts and burps. To you just need to cut off the rear and in the mouth, and then they'll be good. <laughs> some some comedy. It's like those are, those, like, uh, those mix chickens that McDonald's uh, genetically the engineers. You know, they call them uh, mix chickens because they're not actually chickens. Like that's why it's trademarked. So um, <laughs> they're these gen- genetically engineer- engineered animals with with four. No, breasts. they're real chickens. They're just treated really poorly. No, they they have four breasts, two heads. Hmm. Why does this sound like the scene from the Simpsons movie? Ah. <laughs> Was that the uh, pig slime you guys talking about? No, like in the Simpsons movie, there's this one scene where this thing comes out of this polluted lake with like <laughs> thousand eyes and yeah, the, 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 yeah that's that like the intro. Mm. Polluted fish. Actually, uh. I was reading something earlier about uh, oh, shit, what was the most recent Fukushima disaster. <laughs> it, like it created <laughs> these the mutant amazing. crabs. <laughs> Sorry, Trent. What Just happened? What I do? <laughs> no, we <didn't> Everything. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> I do it for myself. <laughs> If your volume, there. if your volume were louder, it'd probably help. Yeah. What's yeah. interesting is it, it's pretty much as loud as I can make it on there this end. Stay, stay like that. Stay like that. It's like you just leaned in. Yeah, <laughs> I will lean in and I'll talk about methane, which is created. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Created when four oh. hyd. <laughs> Don't break my concentration here. <laughs> okay, it's created when four hydrogen atoms bond to one atom of carbon. It's a molecule that's lighter than air. It's amazingly, amazingly useful. It's it's amazingly the primary, huge. amazingly huge, huge. tremendous, huge. primary component huge. component of natural gas, which generates roughly. 22% of the world's electricity after coal. I like how he spent so, a half hour. Ahead. Li- <laughs> livestock, including cows, pigs, sheep, and other Is animals, are responsible is? for about 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Hmm. Cows Fourteen are the primary cows? offenders. Then I start with my engine. So, let's get back to this ha- how a ham- hamburger ha- can combat climate change thing. Was that English? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, I'm trying to be like Tom right. Waits. I mean. Like, Prince, can you uh, gain us up in the mix? Uh, Mr. Snick is just. Mentioned in chat. Let's see. Huh. So we're low, and he's he's loud. I think it's just that the because the volume goes differently. Yeah. For us versus the stream. It does. It does. So I just turned you guys up a fuckload. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably not bursting the eardrums. You are loud as shit. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> Thanks for calling movie phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like press one. Double feature, including the, the Little Mermaid and Debbie Does Dallas. Press one. <laughs> you know I'm pressing two? Debbie Does Dallas. Press one. I, I want to hear what he, what the Eight synopsis five, seven, five, is. Nine. I want to uh, know uh, what the plot. Eight That's all five, I care about. Seven five three oh nine. Yeah. Eight. Six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Yeah, dude. 
Gosh, we got some eighties people here tonight. I guess yeah. so. Duh. Yeah. Greatest decade ever. I don't know, man. I I don't like a lot of eighties music. So about that burger solving climate change or whatever. You don't like the synth? <laughs> no, I like synth. There's a, a characteristic sound of drums in the 80s with this gated uh, reverb on the snare, and everybody does it. It's, it's like this synthetic sound, and it it takes some good songwriting for me to be able to like stuff like that. So I'm very picky about the 80s music that I will put into my ear holes. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> what was that? Namin fool. <laughs> so cow farts. <laughs> are we gonna do like? Uh, are we gonna do like John Oliver? Just like have a uh, just a bunch of bullshit in the beginning and then like a long ass segment at the end. Yep. <laughs> Like, <laughs> is the segment gonna be cow? <laughs> probably. The problem we got too many people. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, Let's talk about cow farts and Rocky Mountain oysters, huh? And a little bit of crypto. What the fuck are Rocky crypto. Mountain oysters? It's part of the cow too. <laughs> oh boy. You've never heard of the Rocky Mountain Oysters? No, sir. I don't know what <laughs> circles you oysters. frequent. Rocky Mountain Oysters, yeah. It's uh, it's popular in the out west near Colorado area, I guess. Or it's something. a, it's like a del- del- delicacy. Cow flop? Delicacy, yeah. It's like a cow pie. It's basically cut up cow nuts. <laughs> oh. Uh, Looks like a little, you know, chicken nugget. I'm Man, you're weird, dude. Again. <laughs> would you guys would you guys murder a cow if it was you or the cow me or the cow mm-hmm. I mean shit man a survival I situation. I you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> you're killing that cow if it's, if it's gonna like mow me down like in you a and a cow, cow on a deserted rage. island you could buy a whole cow at Costco you know that <laughs> Why do you know that? That's <laughs> what's Costco last week. <laughs> Can you ask? Oh, 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 hello, sir. How much is an entire cow? <laughs> well, they, they probably booked her. You can get like a side of cow or whatever it is. <laughs> a side. Yeah, no, a side of cow. <laughs> you you get a hip. Uh, Actually, uh, my sister-in-law, she uh, she bought like. I think almost a whole cow. To, uh, I don't know. She's into this keto diet as well. Keto. Oh. Keto. keto. And, you got uh, some keto heads you know, in the building. So, yeah, yeah, it's cheaper than buying separately, you know, steaks and stuff. So you guys must have a giant freezer, like the one that you can like, hide bodies in, right? Of course. Uh, I have many where, do you, where else do you hide the bodies? In, in a My thoughts exactly. garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Prince, for letting me store that body, by the way. Oh, sure. You know, it's cool. We have people who hang out under my house all the time. Uh, it's a dead man's party. Now, nobody... We nobody have the cops come raid us now. Yeah. Please, I'm on the no list. Swats. That's it. <laughs> We're all on the list now. Plus no swats. Plus. Jerry Springer, you know. Go from Jerry Springer to Cow Nuts. Uh, this is beer well, uh, also War Theory uh, and Technology. Pretty funny after this one. You know, <coughs> what about time travel? Let's let's talk about time travel. <laughs> well, you know what I was talking about earlier—the Alky Beer Drive. Yeah. Right. You ever ex- you ever achieve faster than light travel? You have also achieved time travel. Essentially, yeah, yeah, because then you'd be going faster than I'm time. I'm space time. How does yeah. one achieve that? Uh, it's practically impossible. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> we don't like that word, practically impossible. 
what's more uh, likely. I think it's practically impossible. Yeah, I mean, unless unless you're hiding some aliens from me, I mean, I might okay. be. Oh, well, then fuck. <laughs> then it's I probable. Think, me and ET are chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's a little bit more like reachable than that is the quantum thing where you're kind of quantum computing? Yeah, where you're theoretically able to predict uh the past and the future. Yeah. How, that's how actually you... That's an interesting thought. I yeah, believe that you can basically think of every possibility and narrow them down. You're just thinking about positions of elements of yeah, uh you can simulate it on a macro level. Uh it should be theoretically possible. A macro mm. expression level? Mm. Just all the way up to our level from quantum. Do you guys know about those random number generators that they they put around the planet? I've heard of the Google one. <laughs> I was thinking just put like a find, yes, find this. collar on a bunch of sheep or something, but then a friend of mine pointed out that they would still probably follow a pattern. No, no, there's it's a... It's pseudo-random. Oh, this random. is what it is. It's the Global, Con- uh, Global Consciousness Project, uh, Princeton. Oh, Jesus. You, so you guys have heard of this, then? Well, are, we all, are we all a herd mind? Is that what this is? Well, I, I don't know. Are I'm we just all asking really if you guys have heard of it. What number am I thinking of? 29. 23. 16. 24. 68. That's a G. No, well, what's interesting with this uh, Global Consciousness Project is that, you know, I I guess it's these machines that just generate random strings of numbers. And in times of, like, great uncertainty or hostility or whatever, uh, the numbers (laughs) supposedly form some sort of pattern that, that makes them unique. Uh, you know, <laughs> makes them unique. Sounds like mining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. It's. Uh, Are you sure you're not talking about crypto mining here, Prince? Uh, I might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be mining. You should be. Folding. We need to figure out uh, uh voting and shit. The uh, blockchain. They have that. Oh my god! Don't even get me started on. <laughs> Someone's working on that. It's been not. It's been working for a couple of years now. I don't know if it's actually released, but oh, don't even. Uh, I can I can't bear that topic right now. <laughs> you don't want a worldwide identifying identifier. No. I want the microchip, man. Yeah, I, I want no. I just you don't want to register money, your DNA. You don't want Gattaca. No, I prefer to keep my thing out of Attica. Attica. Yeah. Attica the movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's the argument uh, against uh, uh, using your DNA as identification. Well, you get not with uh, identical twins either. Actually, if, if I remember reading this right, I think identical twins still have like a uh, different DNA. Slightly Probably. different. I don't know. Um, I've only got... Uh, about 34 other brothers. <laughs> and a half. 34, that's all? Well... And a half. The world is my family. I have a half-brother and two half-sisters. I have never met my half-sisters. So that's you have one sister. So you guys are a uh, part of a spoon, spoon donor? Is that what it on? Mm-hmm. Nope. Wait, oh. Wow. No, it's way more burn. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, eighties music. But I like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, AC, AC, that stuff. But uh, I'm, I guess, uh, I'm Grimnir in, in Real Liberty Media. I didn't see that he, that he typed before. But it's more like eighties pop music. Like, uh, I like some eighties Bowie, but. 80s. Tears for Fears is eighties, right? I like I love Tears for yeah. Fears too. They're great. Tears for Fears is dope. Oh, I mean, going back to that thumb thing. Here's a quote from Shakespeare: "Do you bite your thumb at us, sir?" That's what I said earlier. Oh, it is. <laughs> I said that earlier. <laughs> I was like, paying. "This is an actual quote from Shakespeare or from uh, Romeo and Juliet." <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what they're insinuating there. 
Of course. Biting your tongue, biting your tongue, biting your thumb off. You don't want to do that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Not recommended by Dr. Whatever. Dr. Prince. <laughs> Dr. Prince. <laughs> PhD. Oh boy, my my mic just went insane. I need to get a new <laughs> mic one of these days. Uh, it'll get better. It's don't worry. Start a GoFundMe. It'll get better. Start a GoFundMe for Prince. Yeah. Prince, bust out a guitar. Uh, I have a guitar behind just, me, but it's kind of far away. Me. But uh, I do have some um, some important. Things to talk about. You do? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading. Riff you've been practicing. <clears throat> I, I I thought it was interesting because uh, we could provide um, uh, helpful tips for people um, looking What's to do mention? things <laughs> on their own. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat. <laughs> Don't trust the crack addict on the street corner for advice. Too late. Man. Oh dear. <laughs> I already bought that ticket, bro. <laughs> or five. Or five. You guys know today's the uh, day that Big Mac was invented? What? Oh snap. How many years ago? 1967. What month? 1967? Yeah. I gotta get... I'm gonna bust out the calculator because I'm lazy. <clears throat> 1967, that That's was over a decade. Old. So, how <laughs> house construction decade. works? <laughs> Steps to building a house. <laughs> At least One of the decade. amazing thing about homes is the huge majority of them are built using completely standardized building practices. The reason for this consistency is a set of uniform building codes that <laughs> apply like across the country. Wait. Another reason is cost. The techniques used to build homes That's produce right. reliable housing quickly at a low cost. Do you know what's always confused me about this, right? What's this? In England, all houses are made of brick. But in America, they're generally made of wood and plasterboard, aren't they? Basically, yeah, yeah that's a wooden frame uh, yeah. for the most part. We have earthquakes, and and uh, standard yeah. masonry is actually really not safe in earthquakes. Uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, we, we have a lot of steel. Well, in my um, area, it's all about how much we're willing to pay. My house is 80% brick. So, <laughs> like, yeah, well, I mean, in Pennsylvania, uh, uh, on the East Coast, you know, brick housing was a lot more common. But, yeah, out here... In California, the earthquake country, pretty, pretty not. Here, here in Illinois, it's pretty much wood. A couple of houses are made of brick. Not so much. We have like beautiful weather all the time, so we don't need that like insulation <laughs> stuff. Not here, not here in the valley, man. Like in the summer, it gets it gets pretty, pretty hot. Pretty dank. Pretty dank. The zank. Yeah. No, the brick's pretty hey. cooling. Like it insulates hot and cold. Well, the thing it's is... pretty insulating. And no maintenance, man. The main reason I heard is that it's mainly because of earthquakes, and it's, like, super dangerous. It's, like, the last kind of building you want to be in in an earthquake. Hmm. Okay. Let me know when there's an earthquake. <laughs> uh, man, they're happening all the time. I sleep through them. We've been getting a, a couple of them lately. Yeah. I I get online, go on Dogecoin, I'm like, Prince, Prince, did you feel that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I felt one, one or two... I was in I West Hollywood like once uh, on Santa Monica Boulevard, and I I heard like this grinding underneath me, <laughs> and I thought like some somebody was working like in the sewers or something like that, and it took me like days after I realized it. Fuck, that was a goddamn earthquake! Earthquake, like earthquake? under the streets in, in West West Hollywood. Like, <laughs> did, you, did you poop to your pants? No, man. Does everybody, does everybody know Prince is like all super Hollywood? He's like, he is actually Hollywood, too. He, yeah. He is Hollywood. I am yeah, Hollywood, man. Woo! He has the sign and the, and the, star, the walk. Wow, I can't speak. 
This star yep, I, had, I have a I'm star from, next to Gary Oaks, Busey's the on the Walk of Fame, if you did not know. <laughs> right next to Gary Busey. And, um, that's that's Rip, fucking rad. Rip Taylor has a, a star, too. Trump too. I'm in the same city that uh, Will Ferrell grew up in. <laughs> Prince nice. <William>. Irvine. <laughs> did you two share the same path? Uh, what? same path. In, I don't know. As Will Ferrell. Yeah. I wish. I'd be a lot better off than I am right now. Fuck. <laughs> Start writing for comedy. Give me money. <laughs> Give me money. Pay me for this. I don't care that I'm not really doing anything. Give me money. Start well, me. that's one way to do it, I suppose. So, so go fund me and spam on Russian sites. <laughs> you know, I have a theory that... Uh, you know, this Russian troll farm stuff is, is like, has a presence on IRC. Oh, it does, definitely. No way. No way. Definitely. Really? No way. <laughs> definitely. Oh, I think, wow. Uh, I think we have one of the, one of theirs in uh, Do- Dogecoin. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's interesting. Not me, though. No, it's definitely, you know who I'm talking about. All the Russians? <laughs> no, all the Russians. <laughs> no. <laughs> not the actual... It's funny, not the actual Russians. Like, uh... Z-Cat's awesome. No, I'm not talking about Z-Cat. I'm talking about the Deke. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that well, guy's just the dick. We get um, dicks every now and then. They they come and they go. Don't worry. He'll, oh, he'll eventually go away. Oh, I'll make sure he will. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. saw some off-kilter comments from him, but I didn't really Where's read Nogano? much. Oh, did, you see his ba- did you see his band evasion last night, Prince? I did not. Oh, yeah, me and Spork are going at him for a good two hours. Oh, jeez. Why can't people right, I'm get along? Go tell, me if you guys, tell me, you guys, if you can hear me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, what's interesting is a lot of people, maybe, maybe people that aren't listening or, or that are listening to this show don't know what IRC is or Freenode. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on back there. Oh, but anyways, you guys have Google. You can look up IRC and what it is and what goes on there. Oh, there's a buzz. And some, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess that was the, his brief intermission. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, come on. All right. In defense of cow farts. One researcher is saying that livestock emissions are not about to, to destroy the world. So... Right. So, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Despite the reputation, flatulent cows aren't capable of destroying the world. <laughs> what a sentence. Uh, it makes I'm me feel so much better. I'm going to name my autobiography that. Despite their reputation, flatulent cows aren't capable of destroying the world. Yes. A book by John Prince. <laughs> That's by numbers, guys. It'll work. <clears throat> It'll Does you ever find out? I just farted. Oh man, you're contributing to greenhouse gases, dude. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> he must be chill. G L H F. What? G L H F. Good luck and have fun. Um, I, I, I'm. That's I'm gamer like that speak, late. man. That's that's. Uh, um, I don't know. I I used to do G L H F. In Quake, Quake Three. That was the last video game I played, pretty much. And GG, oh, good game. We probably ought to do the next. We probably ought to move on. We've been on this topic for like 20 minutes. What? There's a topic? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like they're supposed to be. 
I don't know. I thought we were just talking about methane. I don't. I don't. I've lost track. Have have I? Have any of you ever set your own farts on fire? Because I have. I feel like it's like no. I've I've actually I had nightmares about that. It it does work. I'm just letting you all know it does work. (laughs) Because my you know how recent in, has it been? Huh? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I, I, I shit you not. It does work. <laughs> how long ago did you try? Uh, sh- fourteen years ish. Huh. So yesterday. Uh, <laughs> this is field research. You might have been arrested if I tried it yesterday. Did you lose hair? Yeah, did it burn uh, anything? Jeans actually. So uh, I may have singed off some lint. <laughs> well, I guess okay, um, yours, man. Huh? You can also you can you can also spit fire with Bacardi One Fifty One. I've done that as well. Oh, you know I've actually seen that as well. Um, but it man, work. yeah, I, I would never try that shit myself. Like I, I, all right, guys, I got a fart coming here. Let's see if you hear it. <clears throat> all right, well, you guys. Is, you know, I like to talk about toxoplasmosis. Um, <laughs> you about to smell some. To- toxoplasmosis? Yeah, toxoplasmosis. <laughs> All right, these parasites. Toxoplasmosis. Yeah. You know you know what toxoplasmosis are, is, right? No. Okay, so no. these parasites, they... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, yes. What happens is they've evolved to move to rats... And they affect the rat's brain, so it seeks out the smell of cat urine and cats to get killed. So it can in- they like to so it so it can inhabit the cat's intestines, which is the only place that it can reproduce. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't believe you're still talking about me, Payne. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we're all watching Irish. Oh, oh man, he said methane. I'm actually methane. talking about toxoplasmosis. Methane, maybe. Which methane. Could, uh, maybe, it's maybe methane. there's a chemical symbol for methane. I think I've mentioned, mm. uh, you know, to- toxoplasmosis before. I like to think that we're. Well, I don't like to think, but I imagine pretty. It's pretty likely that we're all being controlled by something. If it's not some weird. Cryptosporidium from a cat's fucking shit. No, I'm controlling you guys. That's some terrible shit. Grimner posted. Where's that? People yeah. dying in a roller coaster accident. Oh man, Jesus! It wasn't me. I don't want to look at that. That's terrible. Sixteen minutes ago. Oh man, San Diego. One person sounds like. I'm reading it now. No, this wasn't a this wasn't a, a roller coaster. Oh, maybe no. it was. My heart goes out coaster. to those people. Fatal oh, no. coaster Not much I can say. Oh, it's terrible. But then it says you, later you, in the article, Jesus, it's Legoland. Land. Is it Legoland? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's the only thing in Carlsbad. It's like a restaurant, a gas station, and Legoland. Uh, no, there's a. It, but then it, later in the article, it says train track crossing. Yeah, I don't. Oh God, uh, that guy's listening too. <laughs> Hey, Zen guy. Woo! Matt's here too, I think. Nice. Yeah, I'm still Matt. Oh, I don't, man. I don't know. There's not enough information. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but uh, still, I mean, that's not good. I, I, I'm not clear as to what that is, a coaster. And but then it's just about a train station or something. Huh. It's like they can so, make their mind up. It's probably a train conductor infected by toxoplasmosis. <laughs> but that's also infected by Calforts. Well, it, also, Bondi? yes. Bondi is evil? It's not just the Calforts, it's the hormones. Uh, From the Calforts. California likes the party. Oh, yeah. Till we fall off into the ocean. Oh, wait, it's... Grimmer Grimmer says says it's not a roller coaster. The coaster is a train in Carlsbad. It's in California near Legoland. Hmm. Okay. I see. 
So I, I was right. It is okay. A train. Okay. Okay. I know that train. I know that train. So the train is run over pedestrian, it sounds like. Um, yeah. Probably, you know, happens. A lot of people kill themselves with trains. Man, well, Los Angeles specifically, I mean, like, I, I, the you watch the news in the morning, it, it's, uh, <laughs> there's always crazy shit going on overnight, man. Like, always. I feel like you're part of that. I don't know if I am. He's, he's in a, he's in a bubble. Yeah. A rich, um, a rich <laughs> popular person bubble. Um, I'm amazed at pr- uh, printer can print bubbles. Yes, I can. Hold it's that. called. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, most people probably don't realize it. Like the, the they've never seen it typed out. Uh, you know, my name is Prince with a T S. It's not like Prince, like Prince. Uh, Prince of Bel Air. Prince Albert. Uh, Prince of Darkness. Actually, one of my f- friends the other day... Uh, Which is not that <clears throat> right. It's a dead light bulb. Yeah. One of my friends does piercing at, at a shop um, back east. And so he was posting about something, uh, you know, asking, if you need prices or anything, I'm like, yo, bro, how much for a Prince Albert? And he said That's it was the like... Uh, on your dick. Yeah, he said it was like $150, which it, which is a better price than I thought. Just do it yourself, it's cheaper. <laughs> Just use a, a rusty nail. <laughs> and a rusty straight, knife. Straight through the tip of your dick. <laughs> you guys Next got the you, best it might, ideas. It might help if you first inject some heroin into your dick first. <laughs> oh, no, no, man, you do a geek whiskey. ball. Are you talking about how you got your nick? Is that what are you saying? Prince? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> your story about Prince Albert. <laughs> Is that how you got your nick Prince? Prince Albert. <laughs> you, that, that's exactly how I got my nick. That's 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 what I was leading on to. I mean it's because I have this um you know, massive gauge. On the tip of my... Uh, moving on. So, toxoplasmosis. <laughs> the farthest formerly known as print. <laughs> toxoplasmosis. And, 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 and cow farts. And cows and, and sheep and pigs can give us toxoplasmosis, apparently. Are, are you serious? Yeah. How many of us are infected? All of us. All of us. <laughs> It's a fucking parasite. Have you not seen the anime Parasite? Nah, I don't watch anime, bro. You should. Yeah, I should. It's fucking. It's it's visions Talks of the future. Not even does scare kidding. me. It does. I mean, supposedly it 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 um it doesn't affect <laughs> most people, but it can kind of cause dementia. That's been known to like fuck up people's brains. What? Toxoplasmosis. What? Who? <laughs> Dementia. You know, you might make sense if I weren't so funny. Like, you aren't. Are you my cousin Jerry? No, I'm your cousin Francis. Oh, Francis. I no, remember no. when we used to walk on the boardwalk and pick up the ladies. There was there, there is no boardwalk. Never was. Oh, now I'm sad, <clears throat> but I forgot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. Don't don't choke on that dick. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, I think we're rounding up on the hour here. So this has been a pretty interesting gangbang. I mean, uh, oh, you didn't you didn't, do, you didn't do you didn't do asshole of the week. We didn't have no. So we can do asshole a week. Let me find game show music here. I'm just gonna play the music, and then you're just gonna call out somebody's name because. Uh, <laughs> no, it's gotta be somebody people know. Come on. Dragon Force or something. Dream Theater. Dream Theater. Uh, the Zen guy. No. <laughs> 
Asshole of the week. <laughs> this is uh, the closing segment of the show. Asshole of the week, and uh, this week there were no segments. This week, the <laughs> asshole of the week is proudly being nominated by someone. Someone tell me. Zen guy. Is Zen he probably guy? nominating by Come himself, on. Raptor Jesus. Raptor Jesus is the asshole of the week. It's the Zen guy. Nice. Nomination. Why? Why have you nominated yourself? I'm not the asshole the city needs. <laughs> the asshole the city wants. I, I'm, I, I doubt that. Some people just want to watch the world burn. I just want to watch the world. Wow, I can't even speak. <laughs> I just want to watch the world. I just want to watch the world burn. Yeah. I think it's something else you're burning there, fella. No, not yet. That crack rock. Not yet. Is there like a count somewhere that shows how many people are listening to us? Uh, it's I don't on know. the website. Probably. Are there actually people listening to us? Yeah, at least they pretend they are. Yep. Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> uh, I, I boost the numbers up um, synthetically. This website looks with... so fucking... <laughs> 80s. Yo, man. It's, it's, it's that she is... It's got content, wow. Mm-hmm. Budget cuts. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I could pay some... Uh, People on the some website or something. What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he just said. <laughs> I don't think he knows. I need to smoke some more weed. Where's the? Uh, Me too. Count? I've got my vape, my my fucking THC vape pen. So, but uh, we're closing up on the hour here. So I guess you know. I um. We should do our outro. Till next so, time. Till next time. Uh, tune in to Cal see parts. if if Professor J- Johnson is the real killer. Tune in next week for greenhouse gases are making the exploration of your anus. Maybe Thank you for joining the gangbang. Maybe it'll be more cohesive next week. I'm not sure. We're we're, we're experimenting. It's it's <laughs> like trying the 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 O ring. For the first time, you know, you don't know if you're gonna like it. Oh Jesus! You probably won't like it. I blame you're, you're that still, for a fucking failed but, relationship. But you're still gonna let your girlfriend do it because you know she's I'll gonna think you're that. a pussy if you don't. You know, it's kind of like that. Uh, <laughs> Prince, could you do a quick summary of uh, what we discussed? <laughs> <laughs> well, farts. <clears throat> lots of farts. So, <laughs> cow farts, cow nuts. Um, Jerry Springer, uh, Crypto being shitty we started with, uh, William Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, <laughs> the OG rapper, the OG rapper William Shakespeare, <laughs> and Jesus, and the Jesus, alright, well, I guess on that, we're gonna leave you. Thank you, friends, fiends, and sex machines for tuning in. Everybody else want to say goodbyes? Bye, fellow cryptos. Peace, peace. See you outside. (laughs) See you on the dark side. Not of the moon. Hey, Mom, I'm on TV. Yeah, Mom. Peace, peace. Hi. Peace out. Peace out.